What is up, guys? Uh, my name is Sean Flack 2.0 coming at you um, live and direct from the studio. Uh, we got uh, the Dad's Life podcast here, episode number nine. Uh, we're going to do a little light topics today, but let's get everybody introduced. Uh, let me let me introduce our special guest here first. You know, we got Chiron 79. He's caddy quarter to me over in this direction. I want to say thank you for Chiron for coming in and uh, filling that gap. Uh, if you guys don't know who Chiron 79 is, you can actually head over to shadowpackwest.com. Check him out there. He is a Shadow Pack West member. He's been a member since the inception, and he's also been a member from uh, Shadow Pack Gaming. Uh, we want to say welcome and saying thank you for coming out and hanging out with us t- this evening, Chiron. I appreciate it. Okay. Above me, I got uh, Mr. Crinley. Mr. Crinley, welcome back to the show, sir. What's up? What's up? And I got Sensei John. T- uh, oh, he's this way. If you're on YouTube, he's that way. <laughs> Sensei? Hey, Crindo. Chiron. <laughs> what it do? <laughs> Um, we got a good show for you guys. Again, want to say first and foremost, want to say thank you to the patrons. We just did our ba- behind the scenes episode for episode number nine. Um, that'll be out to you guys. Want to say thank you. Shout out to all of our patrons out there. If you guys are interested in getting a little extra content out of us, um, go ahead and head over to shadowpackwest.com. We have a link right there on top of the page to our patron page. Um, you can start your patronage as little as a dollar a month. And again, get a little bit of extra. Every little bit helps. Um, everything goes right back into the podcast. So I um, want to say thank you and thank you for your support. And yeah, um, before we get started, um, does any guys want to get any shout outs out or anything like that before we get started? Well, you first of all, I got to get it. Shout out to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who's the head of my life. Tomorrow, we celebrate Easter. You know, um, all you people out there that believe in God and believe in Jesus, shout out to y'all, you know, uh, fight the good fight, stay on that narrow road, keep doing what you're doing. Okay. Um, uh, Crinley, <laughs> like, uh, brain fart. Whoa. Crinley, <laughs> got anything you want to shout out um, before we get started? Shout out to old your God's mother. Oh, Yeah going through the surgery um yeah trooper you know all right um but, just so the listeners know from the last one um if you listen yeah. to the last episode um your god's mom was uh diagnosed with cancer she went under the knife um we are happy to announce that um the surgery went well and she should by the time this comes out she should be home uh resting on her uh, road to recovery so um you know uh prayers at positive vibes positive mana you know positive uh universal energies uh, whatever you believe in um to mama Nyord and um and the Nyord family so there you go thank you Crinley. amen amen um and chiron um this is gonna sound real corny but (laughs) uh, a pink squirrel uh my wife i would like to shout out my wife um i can say that now uh yay um so like i've started this new adventure of photography and it's it's an old new adventure i've been doing photography for 10 plus years but this is i'm putting my myself out there and coming out of my comfort zone and trying to really go for it and she's been like 100 percent supportive of it which you need right i mean they say when you're going forward it's about the people you surround yourself with and she's like no get up get up and go take pictures get up and go do that like don't don't lock yourself back in that box get stay out of the box and and move forward so without that it's sometimes it's like i think you destroy yourself and you need that you need that person to go nope you're you're all right just keep going forward you'll get there and it's working so shout out pink squirrel she's She's awesome. All right. Yeah. Um, uh, Pink Squirrel. Pink Squirrel is also a member of Shadow Pack West. Um, and as no, as long as I've known both of these individuals, um, they just recently got married. So um, congratulations on your recent nuptials. Uh, the great thing about that is actually Mr. Crinley. Uh, he was actually able to as- attend the event, um, which is awesome because um, 
Uh, one of the things I love about content creating is the relationships you build online and to be finally able to like go meet your online buddy and hang out with them in real life. Like, I mean, that's one of the coolest things to be able to do. Um, oh, yeah. So congratulations yeah, on that, Chiron. That's dope. That's dope. Hey, I got a story behind what we can do, Sean. What we can do, Sean, for the Patreons. So listen up. Come on and join. It's it's not that much. But I'll uh, I'll shoot Sean over some pictures of the wedding. So you guys on Patreon, you can see uh, me and good old Crinley there all dressed up at the wedding. So you guys, uh, I sh- hope you'll enjoy that. Okay, no, and that's a very appreciative. Um, we'll get that set up for you guys as soon as possible. Um, but I will on to say also that uh, when Crinley talks about coming out of his, or sorry, as Chiron talks about coming out of his comfort zone, they went ahead and started um, the, now correct me if I'm wrong, but it's called the Haney Family Photography. Is that correct? Correct. Right. So the Haney Family Photography, I'm going to shout them out and throw them out there. If um, you're in the Phoenix area, is that the, about the travel area, Chiron? Yeah, I mean, Arizona. If you're in Arizona, I, I can pretty much make it to you. Okay. Um, so if you're in the Arizona area and you're looking for a local photographer, um, again, one that has a lot of experience. I've seen his work. Um, his stuff is great. Um, he does have a website, the, the Haney Family Photo Photography.com. I'll make sure the link is in the description below. Go ahead and check him out. Um, like I said, um, you know, we all have day jobs. And for someone <laughs> that um, is going to, stu- you know, has a partner that pushes him to come out of his shell to, you know, put together a, a website and push him to pursue his photography, his dreams. Um, that's what this is about. That's what this is about. And so you say it's corny to shout her out, man. I'm going to tell you, man, shout out to Pink. Shout out to, <laughs> to Pink. Shout Star. out to the Pink. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the, hey, hey, for those that believe in the Bible, the Bible say when you when you fi- find a wife. You find a good thing you know what i mean <laughs> so so that's good that's part for the course right there right so like i said go ahead and show, make sure we get all that contact information uh in the description below so you guys go and check them out and again uh chiron you guys got both got k's it's tearing me up uh <laughs> thank you again for joining us this week uh, okay so let's get into our topics um and actually uh since i just reminded me of what one of our main topics is going to be um so what we're going to talk about today a couple of current events um we're going to be talking about easter is coming and do you celebrate it and if you do what do you do or if you don't what do you do um uh, we have that um we're going to talk about some things that bring us joy um we're going to talk about um if we want to travel anywhere in the world where would you go and why and um that's all that that'll be what we got for today's episode so um before we do that, Crinley, what do we got to do? We got to do what is in your cup. <laughs> what is in your cup? Your cup. <laughs> All right. So I guess I'll go ahead and start out. Uh, okay. You know what? I just forgot. I got horns over here. Hold on. Come on. <laughs> okay. So let's go. Okay. I who's have Crinley. Like last week. I had a different version, same brand, but uh, this week it is a different one. Voodoo Ranger, but oh. Ooh, there we go. Juicy, Juice Force IPA. It's a different kind of juicy. It's not, the last week was Fruit Punch. This is just more like, I don't know, just like regular fruit, I guess. It's not (laughs) Fruit Punchy, it's just fruit, fruity. Okay. IPA, though. Go ahead and take a cheers to you, Mr. Grinley. Yeah, cheers to you, cheers to you. Uh, Chiron, your special guest Chiron, what do you, what's in your cup this evening, sir? All right, we're drinking Bang, and we're doing, it's called Delicious Strawberry Kiss. Like, I don't remember, you guys remember those whipped candies, and it was white, and this one was strawberry, they're like cream, they're, they were cream candies, they had strawberry, and then they had like an orange one. Oh, I remember so those. Yeah. Strawberry one. Okay. And, I like the bangs because they're they're zero calories. I don't yeah. know how much other bad crap's in there, but <laughs> at least I got my zero calories out of it. There you go. Um, but yeah, that's shout out to Bang. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, I'm like two point oh. Obviously, I gotta go next, right? Okay. So, uh, when I when I started this off, 
You know what I'm saying? I talked to Sensei John about what was in my cup. I was going to bring something special to him. Um, and I've done that. You should check out some episodes, especially about that thizness. I brought him a couple episodes back. Um, but we did talk about Tiki Time. So that's what I brought today is Tiki Time. It is a tropical wheat, um, passion fruit, orange guava. It's very delicious. Um, it's definitely not zero calorie. Um <laughs> I don't even. I don't, are they required to tell you how many calories are in an alcoholic beverage? <laughs> it's um, probably on the box. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> that's what I'm going to find. It's it's like that small. This one's sideways. Well, oh, this the, one is delicious. I forgot how good this is. Thank you, time. Cali Craft Brewing Company. That's what I'm rocking, and it's delicious. Wow. You guys know if I'm drinking alcohol, I'm not going to work the next day. So. <laughs> that's all, all real okay. right so uh, right uh, so sensei <sighs> here we go so this is what I'm mixing it with today I gotta give y'all the mixer that's what I'm mixing it with today you know what I mean a little strawberry lemonade calypso I noticed it was a different color yeah, but this this is what's in my cup. Okay, you got to go to episode one, two, or three. You can find out what's in my cup. Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel while you're doing it. And what do they get, Sean? If you could successfully guess or, you know, figure out, listen to a le uh, episode prior and figure out and answer what is in this cup. We're going to give you a shout out here on the next episode in our next recording. We're going to go to give you that victory, that Final Fantasy victory. We're going to give you the horns. All right, and we're gonna shout you out on our next episode. I, 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 I. So here's the That's thing. That's what's in my cup. I was just we're talking about wives here real quick. I was just talking to my wife about something, and um, she was like, "You know what? I'm gonna have to kill that. I'm gonna go on there and comment." <laughs> I'm just saying no. Somebody got to comment. But look, but look, when you figure out what's in my cup, you don't only you don't only have to go to YouTube. You can go to Spotify. No. Where else, Sean? They, they, they can go to um the to, to, Apple to, Music. To Apple, yeah. iPod. Right. They can go to Amazon. Amazon. Oh man, that's a spoiler alert. Ooh, that wait, wasn't wait, supposed wait, to be wait. announced until next week. Oh well. Well this thing's supposed to come out. Well, I thought we were switching to Thursdays anyway. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So but look, but also, so those are the two new spots. I mean, that's the one new spot, but you also can go to the iHeartRadio app and listen to the Dad's Life podcast straight from there. So you can go to episode one, two, or three, and guess what's in Sensei's Cup? Co Sean, can they comment on those apps, too? Uh, they cannot, unfortunately. On those apps, okay. they cannot. Uh, they can but on Spotify, can but not on the other apps. Okay, but you can listen to those apps, come over to Spotify, come over to YouTube. Hell, you can even find us on Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok and comment and say, hey, we know what's in Sensei's uh, cup. You're right. <laughs> You're right. And all those descriptions will be left down below. <laughs> uh, you know what? I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm gonna have to cut this. I like the way you did that. That, yeah, that is a, that's an awesome transition. That was not planned, by the way. Uh, <laughs> I was feeling myself. <laughs> okay. Um, great job. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's let's kind of hit it. We got we know what's in our cup. You know, we got our gratitudes out there. Um so let's let's hit it. Um you wanna hit us with the big business first, uh uh Sensei? <laughs> you wanna talk about the no diddy? Ah, the no diddy. Okay. So all the diddly. We've replaced pause. You know, we always say pause. Now is no ditty. Now we crack jokes and you know do our thing, but as black men, you know, um, I don't want to see another black man go down. You know, so he's 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 innocent until proven guilty. It's for the sex trafficking, for uh, whatever he got going on. I'm sure you guys heard it in the news. Um, and if they haven't, black, give him a quick give him a quick overview. Well, there's been there's been his house got raided, two houses. I don't know if it was the third one. I didn't see the third one, but he has three houses, um, two in Los Angeles and one in Miami. The one in Miami and one in Los Angeles on the news 
It made it this past week. They both got raided. Um, his kids, his sons, were in the Miami house, so they both got drug out and put in handcuffs and detained. Uh, supposedly, one of his sons is... Um, so what they went in there to try to get was basically any UR, um, URLs. <laughs> they get those off the web. Uh, any USBs, uh, computers, phones, any old phones to find any evidence that will uh, corroborate probably what somebody, some snitch, had told them about what's going on. And this all started, um, and, 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 and people want to say it started with Cassie, his ex-girlfriend, but I want to say it started with the dude, Keefy D, who was coming out uh, on uh, Vlad TV. Shout out to Vlad TV uh, uh, with Keefy D. He was talking about a bunch of Diddy shit way before, and this dude, Keefy D, happened to be supposedly in the car with his nephew, the dude that shot Pac. So all this shit started with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It go deep. So KVD was in the car. Uh, supposedly, he didn't want to pull the trigger, so he handed the gun off to his nephew. Boom, boom, boom. His nephew was the one that... So all these motherfuckers are dead, though. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, the driver, the back seat, which is his nephew on the left, and the one on the right, they all dead. He the only surviving uh, member of whoever killed Pac. Um, so, um, and if y'all don't know who that is, that's Tupac Shakur. Uh, but uh, Keefy D was on Vlad TV. He had got immunity from the police, right? And I'm going to make this real quick. But when he went on Vlad, it kind of opened up case uh, more so because he wasn't supposed to speak about it with anybody else. So he started speaking on Vlad because, you know, shit, when, when you do some dirt, you know, everything come out to light. I, I, I'm a big believer in that. Um, so I believe it started with all that. And then here come Cassie, his ex-girlfriend. And now he's got a plethora of lawsuits. All these lawsuits were civil first, right? Now he's got a bunch of uh, uh, underage. There was an underage girl that came out, said Didi was fucking around with her when she was 17. You know what I mean? It was another dude. And so we already know the the, 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 the other shit, you know, with the dudes uh, that nobody's been able to prove. But, you know, we got guys coming out uh, talking about, yeah, I was, you know, uh, uh, mishandled or molested or whatever, you know, forced into doing some shit that, that they didn't want to do. But did he? And um, so, yeah, the, the, the no diddy is like the you know, the pause of of what we used to say instead of saying some, like, crazy shit, you know what I mean? Or when we say some heterosexual shit, and we'd be like, no diddy. Or pause, now it's no diddy, because, you know, he with that that other shit, you know what I mean? And, no, and, and hey, and, and no, all these people that is gay, hey, we ain't got no problem with you. But if you gay, it's fine. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't mind gay people. I don't mind uh, trans people. It's all good. You know what I mean? But when you try to hide what you are, you know what I mean? Then it's no ditty. Okay. All right. No ditty. Um, Diddy's in the news, guys. And, um, you know, like I said, they're, you know, when it comes to ce celebrities, they're always open to the court of public opinion. And um, a lot of times when the, the court of public opinion makes their stance or whatever it is, it's generally misinformed and they don't have all the information. So a lot of rumors and things like that. So just kind of going back to the very beginning of what Sensei said, pro, you know, innocent until proven guilty. Um, but, you know, the act, you know, your actions, you know, if you're handling something a certain way and it looked kind of funny. Um, yeah. You know, so, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, that's all I got on that. Um, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna here. say that, man. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Yeah, Chiron got something to okay, say. My yeah, I'm here, Chiron. It's just, it's the same old crap over and over again. Like, if it's not Diddy, it's gonna be someone else in the next couple. They're just bouncing from people to people, and it's like they're just bringing out all this old stuff. Now, I'm not saying there's not people that have probably been hurt in the industry. There's probably been plenty of people that have been hurt, but you got a lot of these people that are like jumping on the 
I'm gonna take a lot of Diddy's money situation, right? Like, when they were 17, they didn't have no problem messing around with Diddy doing what they were doing, and they knew then whatever they were doing was wrong. It wasn't like he forced them into some sex dungeon type thing, right? I mean, oh, it's Diddy. I, I, it, they were fans, and they had an opportunity to be with Diddy, and, well, they did the Diddy. I, I, I don't, <laughs> and, now, <laughs> and now they're coming out, and they're like, not only did I get my cake, but now I'm going to take all the baker's money, too, right? I just, I don't know. It's hard to, there's so much of it going out that you can't tell who was really the victim anymore and who is just trying to use the victim card to get some quick cash. Yeah. I feel you, dog. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I'm with you. I'm with you. Right. Um, they did it to the, um, who was it that they recently did it to? Ooh, I'm drawing a blank. We got Weinstein. But was it Weinstein? Oh, Wein, yeah. the, Epstein? The, Ep, no, Epstein's like the the which one is that? The they, one that they, committed suicide? He had the islands. Yes, you know, yeah, Weinstein he, was he was, the, was the the Me Too movement. Now, like all these women came out in right. Hollywood. Oh, they did it to Bill. Bill yep. Cosby. Yep. Um, I mean, they've been doing it to Michael Jackson for years. Yeah, years. Mike, Kevin Spacey. They did it to him. Oh yeah, Kevin Spacey. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah. They uh, kicked so, him straight off of what was it? House, House of Cards. Cards? Uh, yeah, like, oh. like, just like, boom! You're, Man. you're out now. We're gonna write you out. No, you're, nah. in. you're. Out. Hey, that last episode was garbage. Yep. <laughs> them, them, that last season was garbage. Man, he ain't had no left. Right. Um, yeah, I, you know, then you don't forget R. Kelly. R. Kelly was big yeah. in the news. Um, yeah. And, and you know, one other person I didn't realize was Russell Simmons. And oh I, yeah, and I just heard that hey. Russell Simmons got re, just like two days ago got served in Bali. He didn't think he could get served paperwork in Bali, and then I saw an article, um, you know, that he got served paperwork in Bali. Um, yeah. I guess Ru- the, Russell's. Yeah, I get. You know, the '90s was different. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. um, uh, 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 there was dudes pulling up. I mean, even when I was in high school, I mean, it was dudes fucking around with. High school students, you know, and they was like in their twenties, thirties. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it was different back in the er, ni- late nineties. I mean, early nineties, late nineties, and, and early two thousands. Like, I don't, I don't know what it was. You know, maybe I, I don't know. Uh, I yeah. can't explain. It. I ain't gonna make no excuse. Non consensual, right? It was all consensual stuff. It wasn't like it was right. just what was going on. It just. That was the it industry was at the time. At, it wasn't frowned upon that that small age gap between 24 and 17 was not a it wasn't this huge thing. Now it's like drawn in the sand that if you cross that line and it's like yeah. what happened what was it the Romeo and Juliet clause? Something like that where it, there's a certain age gap that it's it's not considered bad. I mean, and yeah. th- here's the thing: once you get of age, though, you have a 20 year age gap, and nobody's going to say anything. Exactly. Right. I mean, yeah, you know, you get, you know, like these 60 year old, like, like Robert De Niro's in his 70s. How old is his wife? No, nah, he's in his 80s, fucking 80s, right? Okay. But I know she got a good. Yeah, he's, he just he's had a there. baby. Yeah, he just had a baby. Yeah, his wife got to at least be 35, 40 or younger to have a baby. Maybe not. Maybe thirty-two. Yes. Yeah, so, anyways, <laughs> that's that's going to be another discussion for another day. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to get too uh, deep yeah. into the ditty, but uh, <laughs> yeah, no ditty on that on that topic. No ditty. <laughs> okay. Um, currently, did you have anything to say? I think we went straight to Chiron, and I mean, I think we pretty much covered everything. Like you said, innocent until proven guilty. Like there, we can't trash the man until we know for sure certain that something happened you know okay. i mean so there's somebody out there that knows for certain but they got to be proven okay i mean all right well our next topic that we want to talk about um since they brought this one up earlier so i'm gonna let him take it over again uh the baltimore bridge let's talk yeah. about that baltimore bridge <laughs> I mean, I only got basics. I seen the video. Uh, so what happened was, is um, I guess after they left port, 
um, they ended up losing power closer close to the bridge. You know, the power came back up. So they were trying to make their uh, maneuver to get under the bridge, as they always do. I'm sure many of, I mean, every day, people go under that bridge uh, with the containers and everything. So um, I guess it's a major port, and that's um, what they do is bring containers in, you know. Uh, and they lost power again at, uh, the second time. And when they, they lost it a little longer uh, the second time than the first time. Uh, and then when it came on uh, after the second time, they were in full like reverse mode because you could see the smoke coming out the stack. And then right before they hit the bridge, they lost power again and that motherfucker just collapsed. I was like, damn. So all you seen was the two, the one plate, the, 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 the side coming from the uh, right and the side coming from the left. But the bridge, I mean, that whole thing just collapsed. Right. That, you know what I mean? And um, apparently there was, a, I believe at the time, there was like 10 cars missing. Then there were seven people missing. Um, I actually seen like uh, a dad that was in, 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 in prayers to that family. Uh, there was a dad that was missing. Um, and there's probably a few dads because there was also men working on freaking... Um, uh, bridge it while it was uh, while oh, it wow. while it toppled over. Yeah, they were doing road work. So shout out to those families. Uh, prayers with those families. Um, yeah. Um. So just a couple things. Um. Like you know, as far as corroborating that was, I heard that the CHP was actually able to stop the actual traffic, but the road worker people were still on on the bridge when it went down. Um, and then I watched a, a TikTok where they basically said at this point in time they're suspending all search and rescue due to the debris being in the water unsafe for divers to continue um, their um, their search. So I believe there's a couple people still missing and they're hoping that the bodies will come up as they clear the debris. Um, I believe the federal government has also given aid um, and I don't want to quote the amount of dollars um, to get that cleaned up and all these things. Um, Let's see here. Uh, the TikTok that I watched where the lady had talked about that, she was like, interestingly enough, they, you know, when these billionaires went missing in this submarine, they brought the Coast Guard, they brought the Navy from three different countries. They, they spared no expense to find these people. Um, um, when it comes to like Americans, like the Coast Guard was like, no, nope. you know, she was like, where's the Navy at this point? And, you know, where's the money, uh, you know, for finding these workers, right? Um, so that was her thing on the TikTok thing. Um, again, I don't know the specifics as far as logistically trying to get down and dive and look for people or whatever. But just like what Sensei John said, um, prayers to those families. Um, they're hard, hard, you know, blue collar working individuals just trying to make a living for their family. And, and that's what I got on that. Uh, Chiron, you want to add anything? <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean... Again, yeah, hearts out to all the families. Um, yeah, it's hard to know what's the, if that's the state that we're in in America right now, and you don't know what to believe from what. Who's given the right amount of money? Why aren't the right people showing up? What are the right people to show up? Are they showing up? And we don't know about it. I we don't. I see. It's. I think we're in the dark on a lot of a lot of stuff i don't know why that happened um i know that they could have thrown the anchor on the other side and it would have swung the ship the other way i know that from experience and i know a lot of other naval people that have said the same thing like why did they drop on that side i mean it but we don't know right if we were in that situation we don't know we there's just so many different variables i think we just need to get that bridge back up and running. Because it's a major artery for a lot of people. Like, they're down, right? But I need how four many, seconds, Kyron. How many people? How many? Hang on, yeah. You got to go back like four seconds because you guys froze. Okay. Um, I was saying all the people that were in the accident, I mean, hearts out to them, but... What about all the, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of people that this is 
of going to affect like i mean if they couldn't get to work now or they suddenly i can't pay rent because i missed four days of work or or what about all the gas like maybe there's another route to get to work but it's twice as long now they're twice as long on their commute and twice as much gas and we all know what gas is like right now it's crap man i put gas in the truck today it was just at half a tank so half a tank to fill it up it cost me 54 dollars i mean so i mean yeah it's just hearts out to everybody in that area that's really affected because i i mean really to the people that lost lives or people that are still missing but hearts out to all the people around you that are that are struggling now with just trying to do what you were already struggling to just do every day right they, they said the bridge had thirty thousand people go across it every day so wow. not only hey. is it gonna affect them but it's gonna affect everybody else that didn't right they took the alternate route now all those thirty thousand you know commuters just like what you said are gonna have yeah. to take alternate yeah. routes and it's gonna affect hundreds of thousands of people so yeah Really, did you hear any news on this? <laughs> uh, not much. Uh, a guy I worked with was actually from Baltimore, and he was talking about it, but he kind of made me mad that day, so I had my headphones in and wasn't paying him any attention. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, but it is still a sad situation. Like, to echo off of every, everything y'all have said, like, it's chaos, and... Like Chiron was saying, it's like the you don't know what information you're being given. You don't know. You really don't know what's going on in in that situation at all. You just know what you can see and what you can hear about it, but you don't know if you have all the information. And all we can do is hope for a quick recovery and everyone's as healthy as they can be. It's a, yeah. It's crazy. Yep. Um. Well. Um. Let me ask you, because Chiron, you're a hockey fan, right? Yes, sir. Where are the Blues from? The Blues? Yeah. Well, nowhere important, because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Penguins fan, so well, I'm. Let me take a look at but I, the Blues. Yeah. Let me double check. The I think that's what they're called. I thought they were from Louisiana. Oh, but that was the music. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I like that one. Oh, that that might be jazz. I don't know. Oh, they're from St. Louis. St. Louis. Okay, so, um, so I'm on I'm on Man, Twitter. Way. Uh, I'm I'm on a uh, friend that's um, um, she was a content creator and she stopped content creating, but I followed her on uh, X now, and so she's a big blues fan. So she's from St. Louis apparently or whatever, and so I always throw out the shark stuff. Cause you know, like we're local, uh, our, our local team here is San Jose, baby. Um, anyway, she had pointed out something on X, and she was just saying that Baltimore is the ninth busiest port in the United States, and especially when it comes to importing and exporting auto um, cars. Yeah. So she was saying, you know, with the port, because the port shut down. So she was saying, you know, expect to start seeing, you know, car prices go up again because you know one of the major ports that actually ships and receives cars is completely down so again just another fallout yeah. um i mean i think they're already going up because the uh, guy i work with was looking at car prices and it was ridiculous right now, i'm gonna keep fixing my little bucket until the wheels fall off and then i'm gonna grab some <laughs> duct tape and some super glue and put those wheels back on it <laughs> okay all right yeah. All right. Um, so I guess that's it for our little current um, uh, our current events. We kind of want to talk about. It's kind of major in the news. Um, for um, you, those viewers or whatever, you guys got comments on any of those? Maybe you got those conspiracy theories that people have been talking about um, that you want to go and put those in the comments. Or if you'd like to talk, uh, you'd like for us to talk about a current event, kind of talked about our views or whatever we feel. Um, one thing I do notice is I do like the fact that we are actually all from different parts of the United States. And the fact that our media gets kind of spun depending on where you're at. 
So I like to hear like the 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 twists or the turns or something like that from somebody else um, from another side of the country, and they have a different viewpoint. So again, if you guys are all over the place, depending on where you're at, talking about those topics or some other topics you'd like for us to check on, um, let us know down in the comments. And we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next section. <clears throat> All right, um, so let's uh, talk about Easter. We got Easter coming up, right, guys? All right, yes, sir. Yeah. All right, yeah. through a show of hands, who celebrates Easter? Well, <laughs> let me ask you, what do you mean by celebrates Easter? <clears throat> that is a very good question, Crinley. It's a very good question. So Easter what is coming Easter up. Easter mean to y'all. Exactly. So we're going to start off with Crinley. Oh. Right. Yeah, we're not, yeah. <laughs> I'm throwing <laughs> dog in the house. Yeah, we throwing um, you out there, Crinley. So, Crinley, uh, first of all, what does Easter mean to you? You brought up a very good question. I would like you to elaborate uh, on that and tell me if you guys do anything, if it's religious, non-religious, um, what, right. if you guys celebrate it. Go ahead. You got the floor. We're, we're, we're pretty much commercial with it. We're not really religious about it. Um, I mean, I understand, you know, the whole concept of it and... But, I mean, it's, it's hard to explain as far as the kids go and everything, but, um, yeah, we pretty much just do the whole Easter Bunny thing, and that's it. Okay, do you do any, like, Easter egg hunts? Is there, like, brunches you guys go to, or oh, you guys Easter dress up hunts, in pastel yeah, colored? <laughs> Say that again, Craig? Uh, I was going to say, we do the Easter egg hunts, um... Pastels, I don't, not really, no. I don't see you in a pastel shirt either. Uh, see, my wife said she could see me in pastels because we were looking at some shorts the other day, but I was like, I don't know about that. <laughs> okay. But, okay. All right. Uh, Chiron, let's take it to you. Um, Easter, what does it mean to you? Do you celebrate it? Do you not? Uh... Um, I'm kind of with Crinley. I'm not very religious, so it's not more... We use it more as like a family thing, more time to spend with the family. I mean, respect to people who do, you know, your religion and stuff. I mean, more power to you. I mean, I've never had a problem with religion. I look at religion as a good thing. Everybody needs something. And if religion is that something that, that holds you together, then, right? And to me, family is that thing that holds me together. So I just... That's what we we've always done it. My kids are grown. I mean, I'm on the dad's podcast, but I'm I'm a dad with older kids. All my kids have kids of their own, so they're I love seeing them spending the family time together. Wait. So and that's what I do. It's a grandpa podcast, dude. Yeah, yeah. I'm a grand, I'm a grand, I'm, I'm, I'm hey, a grandpa. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, little babies too then. <clears throat> that's what's up. Okay, um, you know what? We're going to break it up a little bit. Sensei, what you got for us? What's Easter mean to you? And you know, how well, do you celebrate? You know, Easter is the time that Jesus um, he rose from the grave. From those three days, he was buried in it. So, uh, you know, we go to church. You know, we hear the pastor. You know, tell us, you know, uh, some good word. Uh, whether it be about him. Of course, it always ends up being about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And um, uh, we celebrate in, uh, we, you know, the kids, they do the, the Easter egg hunt and all that. I mean, the Easter eggs and the hunt during the week with, uh, with, the, with the schools and stuff like that. But we know the reason for the season and it's Jesus Christ. Um, and and uh, we do some dinner. You know, we got to have our Easter dinner, man. You know, it's damn near almost like uh, uh, Thanksgiving. It's just big because, you know, we got to. But but I know some families do the mac and cheese and, and, and the turkey legs and stuff like they don't full, cook no full turkey. They do the turkey legs and all that stuff. Do the stanky leg, the <laughs> turkey leg, do the turkey leg. I don't know. Oh that just came to mind. <laughs> but anyway. Uh oh. Yeah, we do the big time uh, food. It's about the food, the the the, the family, as you said, Chiron. Um, we brings the family together, and we just love being together. Um, uh, we actually got invited to my wife's friend's house since, um, you know, uh, uh, my my mom and dad they live a little 
a little far away or whatever and i gotta go to work the next day so we gonna we gonna go over her house and she invited us over with her and her son and you know we gonna um i think my my wife is downstairs making a roast in her instapot right now that that shit gonna be good i already know you know gonna have a lot of herbs and seasonings and shit on it and then her friend is making all the uh other shit so um uh easter is is big because it just means it's it's about my faith i'm not I don't want to say uh, I have a religion, but I'm not religious because uh, it's two different things for me. And we'll get into that later on. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but, but, but um, you know, um, I'm faithful to my God, you know, and, and I just I'm, I'm happy that I was able to be a, a, a part of the number that, that, that Jesus died for me. Uh, uh, for my sins and for my transgressions, uh, knowingly and unknowingly against people, because um, uh, we all was born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Uh, I ain't gonna give no, I ain't gonna go too far yeah. more into it because you know I'm gonna start <laughs> preaching. I'm just saying, no. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, but anyway, uh, shout out to God. Shout out to y'all uh, for your families too. Uh, blessings to your families in Easter. Um, and and we just gonna have a good time, you know. We are gonna keep it rolling. Okay, good. Um, let's see. For me, uh, I'm I'm kind of like there with you guys um, with uh, with Kinley and Chiron. It's more of a commercial thing. Um, I'm not. Uh, I'm more. If anybody asked me, and my wife had asked me that, she was like, "Well, you know, when people ask me if I'm religious, right? I say no, but I, my religion, I was baptized in the Mormon Church. A Mormon, so." Of the Church of Jesus Christ, Church Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints, and so um, you know, like I said, I when you know, my wife, why do you keep telling people that? Well, because it's true. Like there is yeah. a part of me that still believes that you know, um, you know, I was that, and and I, I and then as I've gotten older and and gotten you know like understood my um, relationship with the Lord and the universe and all those things, um, I just am not a big fan of institutionalized religion. It's the way it. The hypocrisy of it all, and that's what I'm going to say there. Um, but for us, we just the same thing, you know. Except we actually get the pastel colors. Uh, you know, I think I got a shirt that a wife picked out, and make sure it didn't happen. <laughs> so don't quote me on that. I got to see. Um, but the kids definitely they run around in their little pastel stuff. I'll definitely be posting those up for you guys. Um, you need sharing. a photographer. I don't think I could afford to fly him out. But I would if I could. <laughs> cheapskate, cheapskate. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but you know, um, actually, and you know, the kids are. You know, other thing too is Chiron. I know. Uh, again, this is your first episode with us, and we look forward to having you with us more. Um, but the the main reason, or one of the things that we did this was so that we could have some kind of digital chronicle for our kids to go back and watch, and 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 hear us, and hear our stories, and hear our things. So. With my kids um, right now, again, I love you guys if you ever guys go back and watch this or whatever, but we've always um, understood of what it meant. But again, with the commercialization and, and I have smaller kids right now, so they still believe in the Easter Bunny. And so my wife, you know, shout out to my wife. She's the Easter Bunny. She's a tooth fairy. She's the St. Patrick. I mean, she's all these little things that bring the magic to them. Um, so shout out to her. So, um, you know, my wife goes out in the Easter Bunny with the Easter Bunny baskets. And, um, you know, we don't do the church thing. We used to do the brunch thing. We used to go to brunch. Um, but that got kind of after COVID, that's kind of faded away. Um, but we're going to be going to our in-laws house. Shout out to, you know, uh, Mom Waters. Um, you know, we go over there and we're going to have food. Always have good food, good hors d'oeuvres. Hang out with the family. Again, that's a big thing. Um you know, and as dads, like our big thing is like we provide, we work our butts off. Um, again, if you guys weren't part of, I don't know if he had said this, but prior to our recording, you know, Chiron was saying he's been super busy, you know, 12 hour days, 11 hour days at work. Um, but that's what we do. That's, that's what we do. We, we get the job done. We provide for ourselves and our families. And it's times like this when we have Easter or whatever holidays you guys, you know, participate in that bring us down bring us back to our families and then you know enjoy each other's company um and so yeah i'm not going to work tomorrow either and i didn't even know it was easter all i know is that little egg decorations have been popping up around my house (laughs) 
And then my wife was like, oh, yeah, it's Easter this Sunday. I'm like, oh, luckily I have Sunday off. It's a little, you know, it's a little earlier than usual. Right. Well, usually, usually it's in around April time. Right. Uh, more, more often than not. But this year it happens to be, uh, you know. Yeah. In March. Real quick, though. I want to shout out Sensei John's shoe because, like, legit for a second there, I thought he was frozen. But then I looked over and that shoe was still spinning. So I was like, no, nah, he's <laughs> His spinning dog is right? spinning. So, he, he was just sitting there so still. And then I looked at that shoe and there it was going. I was like, all right, he's good. <laughs> hey, com- hey, comment and subscribe if you know what Jay that is, though. <laughs> right. Um, so, yeah, that's that's the big thing this weekend is, is Easter. Easter is coming up. Um, so Easter's yeah, Easter's. Um, so again, what do you guys do to uh, celebrate Easter? You guys gonna hear what we got going on or whatever, but what are some of the things that you guys um, do for Easter? What do you guys do? Please go ahead and leave those in the comments. Um, you know, we try to get back to everybody when it comes to leaving comments, even if they're good, bad, or otherwise, <laughs> we will at least talk about it. <laughs> um, so again, yeah, what do you guys do for Easter? Go ahead and leave that in the comments below. And if we don't got anything else, we can move on to our next topic. You guys good? Yep. All right. Yep. Okay. So one of the main things that uh, um, I think the two things that bring you joy, I think that's a little bit, I think we should go into a little bit. Uh, we're going to, if you could go anywhere in the world, you could travel to anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? Who would like to go first? Chiron. All right. Yep. Yep. Go ahead. All right. So, this is for all you Harry Potter nerds. I'm a huge, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. Okay. So Switzerland would be the ultimate place. The during winter time, and I'm not a cold. Like you can ask Grinley, man. I like the house at 80. Ooh. I don't like to be cold whatsoever. But I would. I would go to Switzerland during winter just to see how absolutely beautiful that country is. I mean, it, there's a lot of spots that are particular to Harry Potter, but man, look at the country. The country itself is absolutely gorgeous, and I'm a photographer, so to be able to go there and capture some of those places would just be absolutely mind-boggling. And my wife is into it just as much as I'm into it. So it, that kind of, right. I mean, and that's what I try and tell everybody when they ask me, like, why did you marry Brandy, AKA pink squirrel? Why did you marry her? Because that's the person I wanted to share my experiences with. Right. I mean, you can go see stuff, but isn't it so much more enjoyable to go, man, do you remember that? Do you remember that moment? when we were there and we saw whatever it is that you saw, you know, and it's just, yeah, Switzerland would be my place. Okay. Switzerland. Uh, and now uh, we're talking about uh, somebody coming out their comfort zone. He lives in Arizona, loves a house at 80 degrees. <laughs> and then no. he wants to go to Switzerland during the winter time, just to encapsulate, you know, and, and experience the beauty of that country. That's awesome. Love that. Currently, it looks like you had your hand up second. So, yeah um so i was thinking about it at first i was like germany because that was like from what i understand my heritage so there was that and then i was just like it just seems like it'd be a great place to go but i was thinking about it i was like but if i had unlimited money where would i really like to go i was thinking egypt i would love to go see the pyramids and ah i mean go in and just see the work that they did but uh yeah it'd be great okay all right easy so we got um germany for some history but the fascinating pyramids of giza right that's what's called pyramids of giza okay well there's different ones i guess but okay but yeah any of the pyramids really i just want to go like explore some pyramids from ancient egypt okay all right maybe see some aliens <laughs> <laughs> i'm just kidding but yeah man sensei man that brings up a good thing when you said unlimited money and you used to say yeah, aliens how about area 51 can i go there no you can't go there ah, 
Damn. I mean, unless you're Naruto running, you can Naruto run there all you want to. All right, all right, all right. So this is but on my bucket list, and this is one place I would love to visit, you know, before I die. Come on. It's the Maldives. It's in South Asia. <clears throat> you know, unlimited money. That's the first place I want to go because I've been wanting to go there. You know, my cousin, she went there. I'm like, ah. So it's a bunch of bungalows. It's a really small island. Um, just like, I'm, I'm a simple, simple guy. I love like um, clear water. You know, I just want to go chill out on the beach. It ain't no beaches there, but it's, it's, it's like. You want the water. Uh, right. Yeah, it's just, I just want the water. I just want to just be able to sit out in my little, uh, what is the thing it's called when you just lay back on the hammock? beach? Hammock. A hammock or lounge not a hammock. A lounge chair. That's what it is. I didn't want to sit on my lounge you chair. You couldn't remember <laughs> lounge chair? Okay, go ahead. My bad, I just want to just Hey, I just want to... Are you drunk? What's going on here? <laughs> it's a lounge chair. No, I ain't drunk. But, you know, sometimes your mind just uh, uh, draws a blank. Right. Uh, <laughs> The lounge chair on the island next to my bungalow. I just want to go chill out there with my wife. You feel me? Uh, uh, see the turtles go by. See the sharks go by. Whatever. The dolphins. You know what I mean? So the Maldives is where I go. Um, uh, and definitely, Crinley, I'm with you. I got to go see Africa. It's my heritage. It's my country. You know what I mean? It's, it's motherfuckers yeah. that say I look like the Ethiopians or the Eritreans from over there. I done had that what? plenty of times. You know what I mean? Uh, they they be like, oh, you know who you look? I'd be like, who? They be like, man, you look just like your ancestors. I'm like, okay. So, definitely like Ethiopia, Eritrea. But first of all, unlimited money. The first place I'm going, the Maldives. We we there? Okay. No kids allowed. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> hey, I gotta get I gotta go get a babysitter or somebody. Somebody if you mama, got limited money, I mean, yeah, right? Why not? Hey, hey, mama, I ain't spending no money on the kids. Mama, you gonna wash these kids shit. <laughs> <laughs> mama, you gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna right, pay that mama. house off. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I got a funny story about the Maldives. Um, you know, mail my wife, that's where she wants to go. And the reason why she wants to go was so she could have like one of those buff dudes in a canoe with the half skirt on come into the canoe and bring their breakfast to her. I'm like, hmm. Mm. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about That's that. That's when you surprise her, though. You go, and then you're the guy rolling up on the boat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, come on, now. You got an unlimited amount of money. You can do whatever you want. Hey, take a break, brother. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the Maldives is a beautiful place. Um, it's a lot of, you know, um, and I want to say, honestly, it's... Uh, uh, exposed to me through uh wallpapers on my computer go through the wallpapers on your computer on your mac or whatever i guarantee you there'll be a hut over the water in one of them and uh, i think that's that subliminal thing yeah uh but yeah it looks gorgeous we watch youtubers that go on there and it's like a 15 hour flight and all these ah i like man that flight kind of long um, but yeah, he gonna do whatever you gotta do for that wife of yours. You know what I mean? <laughs> I live uh, here by the money, dog. Come on, man, that ain't well, shit. I mean, I'll, when you fly, take it down class, PM. Right. <laughs> well, you know, it's you like take, I said, if you take it first class, I mean, it's not really that bad, right? Take it first class. I wouldn't let die. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so we got that. Um, you know, and the first thing that pops in my head when I want to go somewhere. And it's funny because we just had, um, we ate at this place called Mello's Pizza and Pasta. I don't know if you guys got that chain where you guys are. Um, but I'll go to Italy for the food. Um, that's the reason why I would go. I don't know too much about Italy. I don't know too much. As a matter of fact, I was teaching a class. I made a stupid comment about Italy and Rome being like two different places or something like that. And they were like, you realize that's the same place. I was like, God damn it. Or, you know, like Rome is in Italy, right? In Italy, right. Yeah, right. I'm like, anyways. Um, yeah, I wasn't going to go into that and embarrass myself even further. Um, but I would go there for the food. I would go there, you know, for the pasta, the freshly made pasta. I'm sure there's 
things I could see while I'm there. I don't know too much about it. Isn't it like the Leaning Tower <laughs> of Pisa there? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, that's that's somewhere over there. Yeah, yeah, you know. So, oh, so, I could go to Rome because Rome's in Italy, and I could go see the Colosseum and you can things see like the that. Vatican. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, and then you go to the leading town or Pisa, right? There you go. Go see. Then you can go see but, Venice, but only if I can eat food while I'm there. I mean, oh, you can eat food um, all day. I'm just I'm a plus size model, and here's the thing: I can't go to a place I don't eat their food. So no, if, you will. If if I, I I'm just saying like if if I don't eat your food like I don't think it's good um, I might not be traveling to that country. <laughs> uh, you'll go. So uh, and excuse me if I take over. I'm going to fucking uh, uh, Italy in June. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah, I'm not gonna tell you I win in June, but I'm going. <laughs> Fuck. There you go. I'll find out after you go because you, are you gonna be on that? No, I'm pretty Saturday? sure he's not going to be on that uh, on on that episode okay. for sure. Um, so they'll know when you, know, you go. You never know. Good. You never know. We might uh, do some philangling. You know oh, what no. I mean? It's going to be like you never know. You better check so, out the series and see what time it is now in Italy. It doesn't matter, man. Right? I'm dedicated. I'm okay. I'm motivated. This is my shit right here, dog. Okay. So uh, we're going to Italy. Uh, we're going to Barcelona, uh, Rome, Venice. Pisa, and we're also going to um, Florence. Tower on the froze. Oh, there he is. Oh. Hold on, give him the horn. Welcome Wait, back. Oh, I can hear those it now. Kicked me, but wouldn't let me back in. I was like, "What the hell?" It's cool. Sorry. Uh, what was no, I talking good. about? Uh, <laughs> um, you were talking about. Um, mm. I'm going to Italy, so I can't wait to go to Italy and actually, like, enjoy. Uh, We got tours set up. See, my wife, and uh, and notice the Dad Life podcast, but she's so excited about these wine windows. You can just go pick up a glass of wine at a window. Oh. I'm interested to see. Okay. And it's a group of us going, so it's going to be really fun. Good. Okay. You know what? I mean, okay, here, do me a favor. Bring me back twenty dollars in whatever they use there. I got you. It's euros. Oh, is it euros? Okay, yeah. excellent. So right. We'll see if our dollar is uh kind of up or down against the euro when I go over there. What is it now? Every, I think we're, I don't know. Uh, the euro versus the I don't dollar. Think it's in your up. favor. Uh, no, it has been um um um, um USD. Uh, hey, to guys. Euro. Let's yeah. see. Guys, Siri. The euro is ninety three cents to our dollar. Ah. Okay. So Wait. seven cents. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Hey, a great thing about this trip is, um, this group of us going. Everything is already paid for. Only thing I got to pay for is when we get over there. So you just got to bring spending money. That's it. Okay. Everything is everything is already paid for. Flights. Uh, we got a couple of flights in between. Uh, um. Uh, Florence and um, like uh, uh, Rome and Florence and uh, Barcelona and shit like that. Um, but um, you know that's that that's that's family life. You know you got to plan ahead. You got to right. pay for shit ahead. You know um, work a little overtime. Dad life. You know what I mean <laughs> to get them get them chips up. You okay. know what I mean. <laughs> Uh, but it's cool though, so you ain't got to touch the savings. You know what I mean? Right. You had you, you just you just that's the beauty of uh, being a dad. You know, I'm a dad, and of course I go to work to work overtime to go on vacation. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give you this one. I'm gonna give you this one. I'm a dad in the U.S. Of course I work overtime to buy regular groceries and pay gas and pay mortgage because <laughs> I can't afford it on my straight pay in America. Hey, that that too. Sure. Um, okay. So um, that basically concludes what we're talking about. Um, so we talked about Easter. Um, and guys, we talked about Easter. We talked about going someplace. We're traveling. Where would you go? Um, you know, I love everybody's. Talked about the diddler. <laughs> we talked about no diddy. No oh, diddy. God. The diddler. No diddy. We got to crack our jokes, man. It's just, right. it's American way. Right. You know what? If you don't laugh, you're going to cry. So I'd rather laugh. You know? How about that? Um, 
yeah, so if you guys, you know, again, if you guys had unlimited money, where would you go? Why would you go? Um, and I do love the fact that, uh, you know, uh, we have different motivations. I mean, honestly, um, I personally would travel the United States. I'd hit all 50 states before I went international. Money was no object. Probably uh, pack up the kids in a travel trailer and hit every state. Hey, yeah. kids, we're going to Utah. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, I don't know. We're no, just going. We're gonna go see. We'll you know, figure it out when we get there. We're gonna go see the Mormon Temple in Utah. That's what we're gonna go see. There you go. <laughs> hey, there was a reason. There's, there's something. Uh, if anything, the the beautiful landscapes that are America. Uh, you know, when it comes to traveling, a lot of people that live overseas or whatever, they get their passport right away. But Americans don't do that. And I was watching this guy on TikTok that he is from Europe and he came to America and he's kind of like debunking a lot of these myths. And he said, you know what, honestly, Americans don't need passports because you could go to how big America is. You could go to different states and they're literally like different countries. So you could experience different things and they don't have to leave their country in order to get that. So I thought that was a pretty interesting take on uh, somebody that was from overseas and, and came over here and kind of started living the lifestyle and was you know, uh, amazed by that. So, um, it's cool. Okay. So if we don't got anything to add. We're ready to close up shop. Um, we got any last minute final shout outs before we end our episode for today. Crenley. I'm always going to push Crenley first. Come on, Cren dog. Yeah, I got on, nothing. Uh, I mean, so I'm, I've been doing a little bit of photography myself. Nothing oh, fancy. Man. Not like old Tyrod over here. <laughs> Nothing like that. I mean, trust. Yeah, he knows. He's been there. He knows. Yeah. So, uh, but it's on my blog page, Grinley's Roost. There you go. WordPress.com. Oh. Um, so there's that. Um, other than that, you can find me. Well, you know, it's all down there. We ain't doing all that today. <laughs> Tyron, what you got? Um, I am doing a, a new YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to do the, basically, my life going from being an engineer, because that's what I do in real life. I'm an engineer. I'm going to do a podcast basically showing you the life of trying to become a professional photographer at the age of 44. I'm throwing my age out there going from an engineer to a photographer so i'm gonna do a whole bunch of episodes and you guys can see where i'm at where i'm coming from and the the climb the hill that i'm i'm battling every day to try and switch this completely different lifestyle of working for the man to working for myself and that's what i want i want the independence i want the ability to say hey sean <laughs> I'm headed your way, so let's have lunch, you know what I mean? And and still have enough money to support myself. Not it just seems like all I'm doing is working for the man and then coming home and sleeping and then getting up and working for the man and coming home and sleeping and it's like eh, I'm I'm over that already. I'd like to do something where I can enjoy my family time more, so I love that. Look at look out for that. That's coming out. It'll be on YouTube. So, and as soon as they hit right. YouTube, guys, it's gonna be on shadowpackwest.com. We're gonna push it on everything that we have, um, because that's what we're here for. You know, I'm, I love that, Chiron. I love that you're taking that step. I love the steps that you're taking already. Um, you know, really, really. Um, again, my opinion of you, I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter, but I'm very proud of the years that we've worked together um, doing the content creation and all the ups and downs that we both have had in it and you're still striving, you know what I'm saying? You're still making your moves, you're you're doing what you, you know, you're chasing that dream and you're putting it out here live on, you know, Dad's Live Podcast that you are going to stop working for the man. I would love to do that. So, you know, anything we can do, yeah, anything we could do to help, to help promote, to you know, um, again, we, we, we make a bunch of mistakes. So, if, you know, we could <laughs> and we figured out a bunch of different problems. And I'm sure, you know, you as an engineer and your engineer spirit kind of pushes you through those things. Um, you know, we're here for you. And, and I'm so happy to hear that. So congratulations on that, on that Appreciate journey. And, and we can't wait to see it. Yeah. Um, Sensei, what you got? Uh, 
you know, shout out to all y'all out there listening. Shout out to, you know, my family. Happy Easter to all y'all listening. Um, I'm just, you know, love being here. I love creating content. I love, you know, uh, I look forward to this every freaking week, man. And it never fails because I get to like Friday and be like, ah, do I feel like doing this? Hell fucking yeah, I feel like doing this on Swope, on Gua. You know what I mean? I got to do my thing. You know what I mean? I just love doing this stuff. Uh, shout out to all y'all. Shout out to uh, uh, Chiron for being here. Thank you. Thank you, brother, for being here. I appreciate you. Uh, Krenly, Kren Doll, you know, you're my dog. And Flack <laughs> 2.0, let's go. Okay. Um, you know, for me, it, it's, you know, it's the same old business. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Um, I think both, I think Chiron, you had punched on it about, you know, going uh, going places and experiencing it with people because it's better to do it together than to do it by yourself. And um, I want to say, like, this thing, kind of like bump, bumping off of what um, Sensei said, um, I love doing this every week. And I get stressed over it during the week, and I talk to my wife about it. And, you know, I probably stress more about this than I do at work. And I have a pretty stressful job. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, um, but I love doing this. I love hanging out with you guys. I love the opportunity to get the different perspectives and just have discussions and, um, you know, put out some of this information that we have and maybe our kids listen to it one day. Maybe they don't. Um, maybe somebody else's kid or another father um, could go back and listen to our episodes about some of the things that we've shared. It, it could help somebody somehow, some way. But I do enjoy being here. Um, you know, this is a Dad's Live podcast. I started this in 2019 and doing it by myself, 39 episodes in I gave up because it sucks being by yourself when you're doing something like that. And what what's best thing to do than to celebrate on Easter the resurrection of the Dad's Life podcast, <laughs> baby? Come on, man. right? And I, and I, and I want to say, like you know, love, love, love being able to have these relationships with you guys, um, and 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 showing the fact that online could just be as real as anybody sitting across the room from you, potentially even more realer the connections that we make, and the fact that we can get different perspectives and have adult conversations about things that may potentially be taboo or things that we don't fully understand, and having an open mind and have an opportunity to do that with a group of men such as yourself um, about things about that life. So I want to say thank you, and I'm very grateful for you guys. Um, but with that, that basically wraps up our episode. <laughs> if you guys, well, I want to add to that. Okay, I want to add to that. You know, shout out to New York God because he's normally here with us, so he's been doing it with us this whole time too. So right, thank you, Mr. Shout out to New York God as well. Yes, Dude, sir. Shout out to West us. baby. You know what I'm saying. Well. Well, effect. <laughs> so, um, again, if you guys got any questions, comments, or emotional outbursts for any of us, you get over to shadowpackwest.com. Go to our The Pack page. You'll see a little bio about each and every one of us. There's little icons under there. You go ahead and click on those to get our different information. Again, uh, another special shout out to Chiron and his photography business. Just getting this off the ground. Check it out. Uh, HaneyFamilyPhotography.com. Of course, you know, we'll have all the contact information in the description below um, again and then of course patrons uh, if you're interested in our patronage we do our show uh, before this before the show episode prior to every show if you're interested in getting a little extra content out of the dad's life podcast head over shout head over to shadowpackwest.com you'll see a link right there on the page to go to our patreon page you can start your subscription as little as a dollar a month every little penny uh, helps go right back into the podcast it kind of you know um, we're always appreciative for the support there and any support anybody wants to give us so like subscribe share and comment thank you for listening to this week's episode of the dad's life podcast and we hope that you you uh, listen to next week's episode to get your dad, dad life. life dad, dad, dad life. life there we go let's go <laughs> peace we out we got the second half <laughs> right. later everybody hey. alright there we go awesome guys that is it <laughs>